What's up, guys? Thanks, man. Yeah. Wake up! To the Diablo Research Institution, I am your host, Professor Ice Doc. Appreciate you guys come by. Like the video if you will, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the page, and hit the bell so you're notified next time I post a video. And blessings to my channel members and patrons. Links in the description below. So, in this video, I uh, am actually using the controller still. Alright, I damaged myself in the gym, so my arm is going to be in a sling for the next five weeks. But I've actually found it to be not that bad. And uh, with some perks, as mentioned in my previous video. But nonetheless, I made some changes to my Necro. Check this out. His gear <coughs> is uh, absolutely wretched. But I did find this uh, wand for like 8,000 gold from Akara. A stealth. A helm with two energy. Freaking GG. Useless life leech, but six mana. Freaking GG. Uh, three to life. GG. Now, I don't have a ring or gloves or another ring or boots or even an offhand. Because I'm going gaunt here. Alright, this is uh, for challenge and research purposes. And what I did, I died in my last video. Some of you guys have seen that. So, I resurrected the undead, alright? Uh, but now this is softcore. I, I blessed myself. So I have a 25 necro softcore with next to no gear. And uh, I also blessed myself with some tokens. Alright, that's, that's all I blessed myself with, was some tokens, so I can experiment a bit further. In which case, I actually added a sort of hybrid thing here. Where I have plus four into mage, so I have three skeleton magi. Now, I know they suck, big time, but my speculation is, maybe it won't be so bad in normal. And I do have three of them after all, so I'm going to see how this changes things up a little bit. So check this out, I also have uh, six into ray skeleton, uh, including my gear. So 25 to 26 damage, very low life. Ten in mastery, one in golem, one in amp damage, and one in iron maiden. Now, I do have my Blood Thief still, that I found earlier. I blessed my new character with a Blood Thief. And a Dark Glow, which I uh, found as well earlier. And just some junk helm that I bought uh, from the merchants. But, let's see how well this fares now in the River of Flame and Chaos Sanctuary. I'm thinking it might perform better. It was actually kind of interesting experimenting with the Iron Wolf Act 3 Mercenary. Uh, the fire one specifically. Ooh, that's some poor damage. Yep, so they're not doing that much damage. Okay. Come on, get in there, mercenary. Get in there. They can't even get to him. Look at this. Uh, a bit of a problem. That's fine. We'll continue on. Okay, cast your amp damage. There we go. The mercenary is probably uh, the, the tip of the spear in terms of my damage output, pun intended. Uh, not to say he does excellent damage, he's only doing- oh gosh! 46 to 88 damage, level 24, okay. And he's a prayer mercenary. Ratchet damage! No, they're, 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 they're killing him. Yeah, they're still, uh, they, they still have some effect fortunately. And check this out, I have the prayer aura now, which is nice. I decided to opt for the Prayer Mercenary. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Uh, he gets stuck a little bit, and uh, this is not endgame research, so I don't have uh, Enigma to uh, transport my Merc around. <laughs> Probably too low for a Teleami. Not that I'd find one anyway. Are these mages worth a damn? Is kind of what I'm wondering. Ooh, Skelly already died. Oh, that sucks. That sucks, bruh. If you guys will like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Have some freaking uh, sympathy for the Ice Boy that I blasted my... I got a little boo-boo. I -boo. have uh, pretty big boo-boo, actually. The gym got a pretty big boo-boo in the gym. Uh, all done with heavyweights now. Thank praise the creator. Uh, it is going to be great, because that heavyweight stuff, just a bunch of eagle pride crap. And uh, in addition, it's, it's not healthy. Nope. 
Gotta do body weight stuff. Uh, focus on the heart and the you know what. All right. Uh, is my new is my new motto, if you will, or mantra, or whatever you call it, when it comes to uh, my working out regime. All right. <clears throat> yeah, focusing on the heart and the you know what, and uh, very much looking forward to it. Okay. This is poor. Oh, this is very poor. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. This is very poor. Yeah, this is... Oh, gosh. Okay. Research noted. Uh, mages completely suck. No matter what. So, I am going to spec out now. Uh, fortunately, as I mentioned, I have blessed myself with some tokens. So, I'm going to spec out of that. And I'm just going to buff up my skellies, I suppose. So I'll be right back with a new build. Welcome back. So I respect I didn't put a single point into mages. Raised skeleton is now level 7 with a wand. 28 to 29 damage. 143 life. With a level 10 skeleton mastery. And I put one into summon res. And then I have five hard points into Corpse Explosion. And just one into Amp Damage and one into Iron Maiden for uh, bosses because I'm pretty sure that's my only hope on uh, killing a boss. But anyway, so let's see how well this... Va Here we go. Oh my goodness. They're still getting killed. Oh gosh! Okay, they're, st they're still getting obliterated. Come on, let's get that prayer working. Let's get that prayer. Let's take advantage of that prayer. Uh, with the, uh, with the healing aspect. Yeah, this is tough. And you know, I've actually been finding, uh, it's, it's been a while since I've, uh, since I've gone gaunt, alright? It's been a while since I've tried to even beat the freaking game. Uh, just a basic playthrough, you know? It's been a long time. Uh, so this is indeed a journey, a spiritual journey, and I will say uh, it's more difficult than uh, I remember or than what I was expecting. Now, of course, I'm not just playing your standard sorceress. Uh, I'm trying a necro and uh, probably a rather unusual going through normal build with the necro. Uh, because I believe the teeth build and bone spear and CE are probably the most optimal for leveling with the necro. Uh, this is quite unusual, and the summons, unfortunately, just suck. But I'm trying to make it work here, alright? And that's why I have a bunch of those tokens available. So I can experiment a little bit. I mean, as you can see here, they are surviving. They are surviving. Um, some of you said just max out skeleton and forget about mastery, just one point into it, but... I'm pretty sure the skeletons would be doing like 10 damage each if that were the case. And they'd be... Dying like crazy. So, I'm not sure if I want to try that. I mean, I could, uh, just to mess around. I, I could see what happens if I just put, like, one or two points into Mastery. And then, uh, max... Max out Warrior. Or the best of my ability, max out Warrior. Yeah, as you can see here, they're, they're getting their tails swatted. Okay, but I, 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 I am able to survive. Oh my god! There goes the mercenary. Okay, I'm going to go to town. I'm going to respec again. Uh, for research purposes, I'm going to pump up that warrior spell, okay? Let's see what happens when I pump up the warrior skull. Uh, so I'll be right back. Okay, so here I am pumping it up. Oh my goodness. In fact, you guys are right. Holy freaking toad. Um, this is going to be better. Look at this. I probably should have just skipped CE at this point. Oh my goodness. Okay, so eight skeletons. You toads were right. I should not have doubted you toads. Oh my goodness. 47 to 49 damage. Nine skeletons in total. I only have one into mastery. They have far more life than what they had. 218 life. All right, I'm going to go to the Cold Plains, uh, summon up my army, and I only have a, a one corpse explosion. This might be a bit of a problem. 
And I did put an Iron Maiden uh, and Golem. So, okay, I'm going to go resurrect uh, nine minions. And I'm thinking uh, this is going to be quite an improvement, uh, to my surprise. Alright, so here I am with my hombres. Uh, nine in total skeletons. Uh, they look cool. More. Oh my goodness. You know, in this case, I might want to opt back for the uh, Act 3 mercenary. Uh, the fire one specifically, who can enchant. Oh my good. This. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Oh, a, a shield. Finally, a shield. Oh, he even put it on. Okay, this is amazing. They're surviving. They are surviving. Uh, when I did a playthrough, uh, I was just messing around before this video. And I didn't run a full chaos. I just ran half of it. I killed the first seal. And uh, a rare Grim Wand fell. Uh, pretty epic. I was, I was excited. but And it gave one to Necromancer skills. But uh, unfortunately, I think this one is just better for my build. That gives plus three to raise skeleton. Okay, so they are dying a little bit. I might want to equip that one with the one to skills because then that'll at least add to my summon resists. Yeah, but this is amazing. Look at this. This is this is doable. This is far better uh, than what I was trying previously. And I have been live streaming a bit with my necro with my previous one that was hardcore, and uh, he did get murdered in cold blood by Diablo. If you guys didn't see the video, I entered my portal right. And then I came back down, and there was a bone prison around it. And, uh, yeah, I got zapped. Big time. And seeing how I'm using the controller, I wasn't really able to, like, uh, quickly leave the game. Uh, which I guess is kind of cheating anyway. So this is, then I just, uh, I now have this one who's a level 25, same level, and I even gave him some of the same gear. Uh, he actually has worse gear than my one before, however. Uh, but... But this one I gave respects and uh, or tokens and uh, just so I can experiment and I'm glad I did because I don't think I would have tried this uh, and a lot of you guys are actually recommending this that I uh, pump up raised skeleton warrior and just forget about mastery for the most part just like one point into it and at this point I probably should have only put one point into it oh I did okay one point into that but yeah this is amazing all right I leveled up. Yeah, this is amazing. I should probably get the Act 3 Mercenary at this point. I think I'm going to. And uh, I'll have him enchant my all my hombres. Alright. And I, I probably should have used him for this seal even. Okay, so I'm going to uh, go and hire the uh, Act 3 Mercenary. Uh, this is amazing. I mean, he's just, this, he's gaining more just pumping this up. And I could probably get 10 to all skills after, or, uh, uh, 10 skellies after this. What is this? Two to life tap, one to terror. Unfortunately, it's, uh, it's quite useless. All right, I'll be right back. Let's see how well the Act 3 mercenary fares with these guys, because he can enchant them all. All right, and I just leveled up, so hopefully his enchant will be even higher if he can, uh, match my level 26. So this guy is pretty decked out for a low level. Check this out, because I did find the shield, which gives 15 to all res, some nice uh, stats. And then I found Dark Glow in Act 2, all res 10, and then 5 to max, and I just bought this from the merchants. Now, he's not wearing a sword, but I don't think that really matters. I'm quite sure he never hits anything, and it doesn't apply to his, his uh, fire damage. 32 to 41 Firebolt at level 9. An impressive 101 to 133 Fireball, level 7. And here's what matters, the enchant. Level 4, attack rating plus 47%, 12 to 17 fire damage, 216 seconds. So he's going to enchant all the homies. Alright, and I don't think he does it until you go down to the portal. Uh, and, and until you start engaging enemies, unfortunately. I wish they were a little smarter. Yeah, they're, they're not much for uh, AI to my understanding, but look at all my homies. Oh my goodness, this is going to be great. I might actually be able to beat the damn game. 
I might actually be able to complete normal. Uh, a new world record for Iceboy. Okay, so there he is. He's, uh... Yep, he's enchanting my minions. See this? He's enchanting a lot of them. And he's very safe, which is a nice thing about this mercenary. Uh, and as you saw, the fireball damage is pretty impressive. Oh my goodness. Now, okay, I'll make a golem. And uh, hopefully he'll enchant the golem. Oh my, this is amazing. I wonder if his enchant scales when you go to Nightmare. Like, does he all of a sudden do a lot more damage? I would guess that's not the case. Uh, and there are going to be diminishing returns. Uh, I, w I would guess that uh, in Nightmare, I will probably want to go back to the Act 2 Mercenary. I'll just have to give him a better weapon. Uh, preferably an insight if I can uh, if I can manage to get one. But this is a spiritual journey. It's been a long time since Ice Boy uh, gone freaking gaunt and uh, went for barren status. So we'll see what we can do. Uh, Baza, longtime patron, longtime uh, channel member, longtime supporter. Thank you, sir. Blessings to you. Uh, he recommended I give it a shot with all the characters. But uh, for a start, here we are with the Necro. Wait, where where was where was I did I I murdered Nacho Libre in cold blood? I didn't even know it. Uh, this is a great sign. Now the problem is I'm probably gonna get my ass kicked by Satan himself. Uh, let's see what my res are. Still kinda getting used to the controller. Oh goodness. Uh okay, fire as a five. I might wanna put on uh, it's barely gonna help. My mercenary shield. This is going to be a bit of a problem. So I do have Iron Maiden. Let's try out the Iron Maiden. Bad idea. Nope, bad idea. Bad idea. Oh, oh gosh. Look at him. Look at him. The mercenary, my goodness! I don't even know how to. I don't even know how to uh, heal his little his little tail uh, with a controller. I need mana. All right, a couple bodies. Gollum. Uh, I suppose I'll go to town. Uh, so not bad, you know, not bad. Uh, I haven't died yet, and it's almost been a uh, full chaos run. So that alone is, uh, I would say, is quite an achievement. I can't use this yet. I have not been murdered a single time on normal mode Chaos Sanctuary with a 26 Necromancer. I can't use this yet. I can't uh, okay, all the bodies are gone. I'm quite sure. Yet. So I'll make my way back down. Uh, Satan is going to be a problem, primarily. Yeah, primarily because of my res. Can we kill it? Although, I think Lister's dead, isn't he? Let's see if I can make it. Yep! Yeah, Satan is gonna... is gonna swat my tail big time. But, uh, with that said... Now, Satan... Satan, go and get me. There, There's no, uh... There's no way around it. Satan, Satan, go and get me. I think I need, um... I need, uh... I need some fire res gear. And with my hardcore guy who died, I found an amulet that gave 37 to fire res. And I popped that on while fighting Satan. And I got him down to about one-fifth health before I died. Before I uh, just screwed myself, basically, uh, with the portal, the portal incident. Okay, so this is going to be a problem. I'm gonna have to cast Iron Maiden constantly on Diablo. Yeah, this is gonna be a problem. But let's let's see how well. Let's see if I can fare. All dead. All look at this. All dead. Crazy. So obviously the trick 
is to continue to avoid him. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is pathetic. Should No, I can't respect. That's just cheating. I can't respect just to fight the boss. Basically, I'm going to have to kill him like this. Yep. And, and look at this. I already have him down to... Uh, I'm already making some progress. There is a bone bridge around the portal. So I think I'm going to pause the video. And I'm going to see... I guess I'll try to kill him. So I'll pause the video. We'll see if I can do it, alright? And I'm not going to respect... Like I said, that's just cheating. Can't do it. Yep, it's going to be a tedious task. Uh, my Blood Thief Merc would have been helpful with the open wounds, but... Okay. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll uh, play back if I can defeat him, alright? We'll see how this goes. Alright, here we are. Making some progress. Just gotta keep that golem up. Yeah, this takes a long time. And uh, it's actually harder with a controller, I think. Because you can't really control where your golem uh, spawns exactly. Come on, keep that up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Got him! Oh! Okay, so I got uh, some useless items, unfortunately. <clears throat> but maybe I shouldn't complain that much about it. Uh, at least there's a unique, and at least there are some boots. In fact, Diablo, to my understanding, can drop some of the best uh, boots. Uh, from my experience, those nice tri-res boots. Oh. Night and heat, light res. 10 poison res. Poison length reduced by 25. 19 magic fine. 10 faster recovery. <clears throat> so that's not that bad. Okay, now let's see here what... Uh, let's see what these other items are like. We got uh, a gladius and a war scepter, I suppose. Uh, just no use for them, really. Uh, pretty junky. Yep, but there you have it. All right, so I am in Act Five now, and uh, this has been a damn good time, uh, except for the boss. You know, the boss is extremely tedious, so I'm really not looking forward to Bell. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. So stay tuned for more videos. Like the video if you guys will. Appreciate you guys coming by, and more videos to come. Peace be with you.